America. This is why we're in the mess that we are in today. I heard one good bishop say that we have lost the better part of two generations of Catholics and uh, we're now working on a third one. Another bishop complained publicly and said that in the Acts of the Apostles, the Apostles gave one sermon and made 3,000 converts. He said, we give 3,000 sermons and don't make a single convert. What I would suggest to that bishop that it is not hard to figure out why, at least in terms of evangelization and catechesis. Brothers, you know as well as I do that too much of what passes for Catholic preaching these days is simply awful. It is awful. Pope John Paul II said 10 years ago, and I'm quoting him exactly here, he said, the greatest obstacle to evangelization in North America is superficial preaching. You all know what I mean when I talk about superficial preaching, right? Catholic preaching that is watered down, filled with generalities and abstractions, um, devoid of doctrinal content, devoid of moral exhortation, more akin to pop psychology than the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, it is not scriptural. It does not move. It does not inspire. It generates no enthusiasm for Jesus Christ and his church and his gospel, and it has got to change. It's as simple as that. Bishop Sheen, in his retreat conferences, used to say, strong love makes strong actions, and the measure of our zeal in bringing souls to the feet of Christ is the measure of our love for him. He said, why is it there are so few conversions in the church? It's because we have no zeal, no enthusiasm. Where there is no zeal, there is no love. It is because we have ceased to be fathers anxious to make sons and daughters for ourselves. Where there is no zeal, there is no love. Now, after 15 years, more than 15 years on the road preaching, I can tell you, everywhere that I have gone, Catholics that I have met have told me in no uncertain terms that they are sick and tired of lukewarm, watered-down Catholicism. They have had enough of what Catholic writer George Weigel calls Catholicism light. Now, Catholicism light is not like Miller light. Remember the old beer commercial? Tastes great, less filling. Well, Catholicism light is less filling, all right, but it doesn't taste great. In fact, it is sickening, it is nauseating. Jesus said, how I wish you were either hot or cold. He said, you are neither hot nor cold because you are lukewarm. I will vomit you out of my mouth. Okay, now these are the obstacles involved. And all that having been said, let's understand this. Let me be clear about this. You got to leave here understanding this, fellas. These obstacles can be overcome. Let me say that again for you. These obstacles can be overcome simply because nothing is impossible with God. It is going to take a while. It may take another generation. But I believe there will be, there has got to be a new evangelization because the Spirit of God is still at work. The Spirit of Christ is still on the move, alive and well, still invincible. St. Paul said, where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. Now, why do I say this? Uh, is this just blind optimism on my part? Uh, am I just batting in the wind here, hoping against hope? No, I say this because I know that there is right now a new generation of young, zealous, orthodox priests and bishops on the rise, 
They are now making their presence felt in the church. And there will be 465 more of these kind of new zealous priests ordained this month, next month alone. And you know, the fact is that the Holy Spirit is still making converts. Now, a small army of new converts, many of them former ministers, mostly from the evangelical denominations, and they are breathing new life into the church. I sincerely believe that the converts may well be the future of the church in this country. For example, in the last 15 years, more than 800 former ministers have come into the Catholic Church. Right? There are now another 700 of them in the pipeline. That information came to me from Marcus Grodi. Everyone that I have met is on fire for the Catholic faith. The homeschooling movement is now gaining momentum, big momentum. Eucharistic adoration is making a strong comeback, gaining strength. More parishes than ever before now have perpetual Eucharistic adoration. So, fellas, there is going to be a new evangelization, even in a world that calls itself post-Christian, simply because, precisely because, God wants it. The Holy Spirit is going to make it happen. And I say again, if God is for us, who can be against us? So, I warn you, stand up like men with a backbone, right? Let's get away from all the negativity, all the defeatism, and all the spiritual mediocrity. Let's start lighting the candles and stop cursing the darkness now, right now.